हेलो फ्यूचर सी एस आर यू रेडी फॉर द एंड गेम बिकॉज वेदर यू स्टडीड फॉर थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ्स और नाइन मंथ्स इट ऑल कम्स डाउन to what you do in the last 5 days before your first exam advanced accounting and in today's video we'll be discussing the strategy for these last 5 days do i really need these 5 days and before i get into the strategy and show you the strategy guys towards the end of this video i will be sharing with you two important resources also what are they sir what are the marathons available with me and detailed classes that you have for free for advanced accounting for this september 25 exams and i am coming up with something something so big and i'm going to call it super 150 the top 150 questions from the study mat regarding this i will talk towards the end guys but the most important thing now is the 5 days strategy before i explain this let me tell you a small inspirational real life story guys recently i heard this and it's something that touched me very deeply back in 2011 there was one woman who was pushed out of a train and she fell down of the train and in the other track an opposite train came and it ran over both her legs and she lost both her legs in that train track guys she was lying down there for 14 hours throughout the night and next morning a farmer someone saw her and took her to the hospital she was still alive but the doctor said she lost both her legs and then fast forward to 2 years in 2013 exactly 2 years after this incident she climbed mount everest and when people asked her when she lost her legs what is your dream she said my desire is not to walk again but my desire is to climb the mount everest and she did it there is a documentary on this on netflix also if i'm right it's on her the woman's name is arunima sinha you can go check it out guys but not now after the exams what i want to communicate here to you guys is if you have that burning desire in your life and if you keep your mind towards that any kind of miracle is possible and in that one important thing that you need in your life is these five days are very very important because what we do in the first exam completely sets the tone for the remaining set of exams that we have whether you are writing one group or both the groups so i will strongly recommend five days last five days for advanced accounting maybe the first yeah. one two days you can learn daily one to two hours of law or tax but i will still recommend five days and if you are writing both the groups if you feel five days is too much then you can reduce it by four days so this plan is made such that predominant of the syllabus gets over in the first four days itself and the fifth day itself is for revision let me explain this guys you are all going to start off studying on day 1 which is 30th august saturday and first day is always the day of confidence so i'm giving you only easy topics that everybody studies for you to get the confidence so day 1 you will study schedule 3 by back and internal reconstruction and few basic accounting standards like 4 5 9 and 29 easy ones each standard you can don't have to spend more than 30 to 40 minutes so what happens on day 1 you are confirming 20 marks for you from the easy part of the syllabus the next two days which is your 31st and 1st september day 2 and day 3 is what i call the mammoth days where now you are in momentum you have the flow so let's finish the top 3 difficult chapters for students and the ones which will definitely come in exam you can between these days change based on your comfort guys so first day on sunday you will start off with consolidation including 23 and 27 associate joint venture and you will be doing three small standards 10 12 16 related to assets the next day on monday another mammoth chapter amalgamation and again you will be doing few small as like 1 2 7 and applicability of accounting standards 
these two days when you finish the mammoth syllabus like consolidation amalgamation along with that you will also be doing cash flow statement both the days little little sums you will be doing one day let us say direct method another day indirect method. So, what happens in the first three days you are done with the significant of chapters you are done with the significant of chapters case where you get lot of confidence. What many faculties I have seen telling you is, they will tell daily do chapters along with AS, chapters along with AS, but I have a little different school of thought here because out of 100 marks for you, 50 marks is going to be accounting standards. I am dedicating one full day in our schedule, 2nd September or day 4 for only accounting standards guys because accounting standards is the first compulsory question and the last question almost minimum 40 marks will come so one full day all the difficult accounting standards i have put in this bucket 13 15 17 you can see all the numbers here 19 20 22 everything guys so what happens in these first four days for us you are done with all the mammoth chapters and accounting standards by allocating one day for accounting standards also. And then the last day, fifth day, by now you would have finished 90% of syllabus guys if you have go gone as per this plan. So, for last day, I am keeping only one topic which anyway comes in the exam in the last mostly for 6 marks and more students also learn this in the last. So, let us also learn this in the last branch accounts. That means you do not need branch accounts, whole day for branch accounts is not needed, correct? So, what you will be doing is branch accounts will get over in maybe half the day and the remaining half the day what you will be doing first four days there may be some backlogs so buffer of previous days whatever is there you will complete and then last two to three rtps and mtps important questions that you have marked you will solve it so by third september you're done with a full learning you're confident on fourth of september the exam day the main day for all of us that day when you wake up in the morning you should be having another three to four hours for studying that day is predominantly going to be only revision in these four five days in these four five days whatever you see as important questions during your preparations or the things that you need you have to go back and revisit mark them with stars guys mark them with stars and then and then on the last day of exam when you are doing revision revise these stars so that you come out as a flying star in your exam guys last day if you have any buffer you can still do that but ideally let's not keep any buffer for this day now, one more thing I want to share with you in these five days is something we call as a, as a checklist, guys. Okay, I call it as a checklist. Some people call it as tracker, whatever works. Take a notebook, take a notebook and in that notebook, you write down serial number, topic and a tick mark. Okay, in a notebook, you write down AS1, AS2, till consolidation, all the topics right in the pen. And then whenever you complete one particular topic, keep putting tick against that because it's a small practice to ensure that you don't miss out on any topic now sir strictly should i follow what is here sir what i'm giving you here is an example schedule which i would be following if i am studying but 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 different faculties will give you different schedules and i will say you should also sit down with yourself and prepare your own schedule that you have it not necessary has to match this but if it's similar to this it's okay but make a schedule for these five days and go with that and remember every day you may not meet exactly what you plan guys you may only meet 70 80 percent of what you see over there now what is the other information that we have and before that how do i document uh, download this document also i will tell you guys the other information i told you is we have amazing marathons for you guys if you need them i have an accounting standard marathon of just 20 hours covering all as and lately we have also given a 5 hours mcq marathon solving 20 difficult mcq questions the full chapter of consolidation amalgamation and schedule 3 also i have freely given on youtube the links for all of this i will be giving in the description of this video itself no need to join any telegram group 
in the coming days i'm sure everybody will be studying only from icia study mat or whichever book you have is an adaptation of icia study mat icia study mat has close to close to 250 plus questions in the whole of study mat including illustrations mcq case study but what i have done i have marked 150 must read questions from icia study mat i will give a separate list for that you just cross check for every chapter do you know these 150 questions are tick sir i know this i know this you will just tick so i will be releasing this list very very soon so that's about it guys sir i want to download this pdf where to get this pdf of 5 days plan of yours don't waste time by downloading some pdf and going to ca classroom website at least at this point i am giving you the image over here itself i am sure all your phones have a screenshot correct so just take a screenshot of this with me over here with a thumbs up so whenever you come back to this list i will also be over here you can go to this list guys and lastly i want you to fill this comment section that you are going to start off with a lot lot of confidence and lot of manifestation so go comment with lot of positivity that i am going to i am going to ace my september 25 exams with a 60 plus with the first exam giving you all the confidence guys if you are still yet to take a screenshot you can take a screenshot now guys where you get that ace 60 plus along with this list guys that's about it all the very best thank you guys